Um, perhaps we could uh, we could begin um, by talking about um, the process of uh, gathering uh, the visual material uh, that appears in the film. Um, you draw on uh, uh, several different sources of, of images and then um, and use them in, in, in interesting ways. So could you just talk a bit about that that process? Okay, actually, um, a lot of people asking how you start to do the research about images or photographer. So, but but actually, it's it's kind of like like long process. In my studio, I do a lot of research about old mag uh, old magazine or old secondhand photographer or um, like old films. So. After maybe five and four years, I got a lot of material in my studio. Basically, I don't know what can I do with them, but I, I'd like to try to, um, how to say, to change using my filmmaking to change the original meaning of the image. So I start to work with the film. So because I think maybe I can use some oil history or I can use some editing by timeline, I can change in. Uh, or I can make people have more rights to understand or or to describe to the, the the meaning of the image. So that's why I work with this film. So basically, there are no like goal f when I work with the film. It's not like okay, I'd like to make a film about my mother. No, it's just like just happened. It's just because one like last summer when I was in my hometown, I have a very interesting conversation with my mom and, and I just recorded. So I think maybe I can, you know, I can use the, stro the story to link all the image and still image and moving image. And when I, when I edit it, I think, oh, it's very interesting because I, I did not use any image or picture from my mother or from my family, but I, I, I try to use Ginger's image or how to say to use the public documentary film to tell the story. So, so I think it. I, and and also I try to find out the space between the image and the sound and the music, because sometimes if you go to the cinema, you watch the film from, how to say some in industry film or Hollywood film. You 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 can find the image and 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 the sound is um, have very close relationship, but I'd like to bring this kind of rights to audience and the audience can have more space between the sound and the image. They can have their own imagination. They can make up their own story by the image and by the sound what they hear. So that's why I work with this film. Yeah. Yeah, and that's also, I think, um, it's of course borne out by the, uh, by the soundtrack as well. And, uh, the image sound relations that you're just yeah. uh, talking about, but you know, um, it's quite a complex. The the sound design for the film is is yeah. quite complex, and um, you uh, there are um, some sound effects that that evoke uh, both uh, analog uh, film editing, but also just this this feeling of of, of machinery and yeah. mechanism, and it's that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, next to memory and these very, uh, he, yeah. you know, these kind of quintessentially human things. Could you just talk a bit about the the process of deriving the the sound, uh, the sound. design? Yeah. Oh, you mean the voice over or the sound or design? Or just the, the the entire uh, sound uh, oh. track of the film? Yeah. Oh, actually, I I uh, both sound and image. I I, I try to bring the logic like empty because you can see a lot of black in in the film because I think a lot of picture my generation could not see so a lot of black scenes then, then leave space for people to imagine. And but also for sound, a lot of sound is, actually all the sound is from uh, the old tapes which recorded in 1988 when I was a child. So I cut out my, my voice and my family voice. I only leave the sound from the tapes. Then I try to bring the history feeling <laughs> in the film. And also, I found a lot of old tape destroyed by the wet weather in my hometown because my hometown is in the south of China. The weather is very, how to say it, wet. So a lot of sound have no, how to, how to say it, not a lot of old tapes have no sound inside. So you can see all the sound effect is I try to play with tapes, but without without the sound and the voice inside. So the sound is from tape recorder. I just uh, 
press the fast forward or press the play, and、uh, I just play with the machine. I try to make up because there are no there are no sound inside. So I try to make up some sound from emptying. So that's why I make a lot of、um, sound. But I, but it looks interesting in the film. It looks like the the sound from How to say it?、Uh, the sound from、uh, films or the sound from、uh, how to say the film machine? I don't know. So I basically I try to. It means from my generation, we are very far from the history. Some young Chinese people they don't they don't know about、um, the the history in 1915 or 16. Even we don't that interesting about that. So for for us, I think it's totally film empty for. That's part of history. Even because China developed so fast in past twenty or thirty years, I I feel very big gap with my mother generation or with with my grandfather's generation. So I try to use the this kind of logic to work with my film to try to bring this kind of feeling, the emptying, the 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 the、uh, the lost of knowledge about history in the film. Yeah. And is that、um, would you say that that kind of、uh, That that thought was kind of what led you to interview your mother、yeah. in the in the first place, and I'm I'm curious, you know, what what kinds of impressions you got from the experience of interviewing her that led you to、uh, want to combine these images to make a film. Ah, it's very interesting <laughs> the interview because I when I talk with my mom, my mom feel very. Like free, but when I have the recorder in front of my mother, my mom feel a little bit, little bit nervous. So you can see when, when my mother talk, he looks like stranger, you know, looks like interview from some, from some、uh, video reporter, how to say. So he 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 always mentioned my brother, my father, not your grand, how to say, not not your uncle or your grandfather. So I think it's because I think he her generation. I don't know. Maybe from her experiments, he he feel very nervous in front of recorder. So, so he not like very close. But after you can see in the middle of the film, I just、uh, fight a little bit of fight with my mom. I say, why are you tell your kids not that's me? Okay, we are. We have we are very close relationship. Then my mother just answer, okay, ah,、uh, can I say is that you? Or can I say I can can I tell people that? But actually, before I recording the 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 conversation, I did not tell my mother what what I will use the 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 the, the recording how to say the voiceover. So so I, but but she is still nervous at the beginning. Yeah. Um, let's、uh, let's see if anyone in the audience has a question. If you do, just raise your hand. We'll bring you a microphone. Yeah. Wow. We'll、Thank、start with. Thank we'll start you with for、Ed. the gentleman. <laughs> yeah,、uh, very poetic and rich.、Uh, maybe you don't want to say, but you you use a texture over the images, which for me was almost like rice paper. Yeah. How did, yeah. How did you move the rice paper? Because it's moving; it's not a static image of the fibers in the rice paper. Did you? How did you do that? Oh, I just it's very. I just because my father was book designer, so he have a lot of different kind of paper in my hometown. So when I have a lot of old photographers, so I I I try to make I don't know make make it look looks more、uh, more dirty. Or looks like have a yeah looks more history on the. But did you animate it? How did you move the paper in front of the camera? Oh, actually, I just scanned the paper,、uh -huh. and scan several a lot of papers and just uh, use. Um, and then that gave you the movement. Yeah, 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 yes.、Yeah, so. Oh really? <laughs> so, I'm, I because I'm I'm thinking the film is very low technique <laughs> film, so I think it's very yeah, easy. That, that it adds to it that it feels handmade. Oh really? Cool. And 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 then those little images in the film、oh, okay. where the people are moving static, you shot those. Yeah. Yeah, and then you put you printed them on like a newspaper, like a a um. So it had the texture of a newspaper. Oh, actually, the mo the movement for the cutout caricature is the the image is from some commercial catalog in nineteen eighties. Oh, and they really moved in different positions. That's why they move because the 
the commercial catalog is try to teach people join people's body. So actually all the image in the film is come from commercial catalog or come from production catalog. I, I did not use camera in the film. Wow, wonderful. Okay. Like, like <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Anyone have a yeah. question? Um, hi, thanks for your amazing work. Um, I actually got a, quite a few questions, but I'll just go for a simple one. So at the uh, end of the film, you paired lots of pictures, like photos together, yeah. and they are look like uh, disordered. Did you have like any specific logic to pair them together? Yeah, I... Uh it's very hard to say. Actually, they, it's a very long process to work with all those old photos. I just try to build a kind of a relationship between image, but I don't know if that works. So there are no, that's kind of very uh, physically loose. And I, I, I just uh, follow my, I don't know, idea or my editing, I just follow the, relationship between the image, like I, I use a lot of chairs, but the voiceover is bicycle. So I don't know, but I, I, I just try to bring kind of space to, to people. I think the, the logic behind this kind of like space, it's like imagination space for the people. Because I, I'd like to talk a little bit more because uh, basically in industry film, it looks like audience, oh sorry, it looks like filmmaker have a lot of power in the cinema. People tell you 100% story, and people tell you what they like to say. The filmmaker tell audience what they like, what what he think about the world. But I think, in my belief, uh, filmmaker, uh, the the relationship between the filmmaker and the audience in the cinema is like that. It's the cin cinema is black, like small black room, and the filmmaker just the people break a small hole on the wall and make the light inside. And uh, the audience can see the shadow on the wall, but what is that? What you can see and uh, how to make a story is the right back to the audience. So what I do in the film is I try to build this kind of relationship between the filmmaker and the audience, also between the, each image. Okay, yeah. So, uh, well, it might, this is uh, related, um, uh, maybe uh, more more concrete than the sort of you know the the image sound relations and sort of the what uh, what those associations mean, yeah. but just like uh, you could you talk a bit about how you figure out the rhythm of the piece because it's so it's so precise uh, during certain passages and um, it's the you know the combination of still images, uh, moving images, uh, moving images that loop back on themselves, still images that are presented, uh, you know, with repetitions. Could you just, uh, maybe you could talk a bit about how you figure out the rhythm of the editing. Um, actually, it's very hard to say. It's just kind of like feeling. Maybe because I I also do some, some of you guys know, I also do some rapping <laughs> in Chinese. I have some friends here. Yeah, yeah. I, I sometimes I, I think because rapping, you need to make sure the beats and the rhythm in when you're rapping or when you make the music. So when I when I work with the image or sound, I just uh, I just uh, looks looks image as the language. So ba 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 poop and looks like that. I, I I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah yeah. Sure. I mean. <laughs> kind of like so the film kind of looks like freestyle. Yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, any other well more questions? Well, one, wait one second, I'll, he'll bring you a microphone. Thank you. Uh, congratulations, Lily. Um, this is your first feature length. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, I should have mentioned this. Yes, Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, um, Lily, um, yeah, you, your last answer kind of uh, answered a question I had, you know, the Chinese translation, literal translation for the film, should it be animal? Um, like a dialect um, yeah. language, so yeah. I was going to ask you about that. Um, yeah. You know what part? It's oral history, you know, from your mother and yeah. so on. Yeah. But the rapping really, um, I think, um, uh, sh shed light on, on what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. But my comment and question would it be uh, in relation to your previous works, your background mm -hmm. as actually um, animator, because mm -hmm. you you are uh, seen as um, 
uh, one of the you know few uh, leading um, independent animators in China, uh, animation and special analog and uh, uh, um, experimental uh, animation, um, one person production cottage industry. Mm -hmm. So now this series, this program is is not explicitly animation or experimental animation. Yeah. I haven't seen other films in the program. Yeah. So I, I wonder how you feel about your film uh, being chosen and, and programmed in this category, this contact, the art of real. Um, do you know what that is and how do you feel uh, your um, film fits in there? Um, um, yeah. And one film that I really uh, thought a lot while watching this new one is your family album. Uh, yeah. What is it? Jia Ting Xiang Ce. Yeah. Yeah, that you worked earlier. Also using um, recycled images to make yeah. this kind of wrapping, you yeah. know, five speed, um, mm. speed five kind of uh, uh, interesting crossover between documentary and animation. So just want to see if you have anything to say. Thank you very much. I, I actually very interesting theme is this film uh, because I have been a lot of animation festival and a short film festival, but this film did not selected by animation festival. I met some director from animation world, and he their feedback is not no. This is not technique animation. We don't want that. So it make me a little bit sad. Why is oh you only think about animation by technique, not by how to say logic or or the so what is cinema? So actually, uh, why I work with this film because when I work with animation, I think it's moving image for me. So and I also think I'm work with sound and image in my work. So and why I work with experimental film because I have a lot of question about experimental what I can do uh, with moving image and what I I can do with sound. So. I don't care if it's animation or documentary or live action. I'm working with the moving image. So this is the topic what, what I'm working with. So uh, yeah, but for this film, most of the challenges seem is like I, I'm, I'm working with the sound and the music and all the image together. And I try to build kind of my, my storytelling. And I try to uh, use like still image and moving, how to say the still image and moving image to tell a story and make sense in the cinema. That's that's what I just like to do. And uh, the story inside, or if that is technique like animation, or if that makes sense for some people, and if that's confused for some people, is is uh, it's interesting topic, but not my question or not my not my. Uh, topic when I work with the film. So I, I just try to, actually I just try to bring more space for audience and uh, make more conversation in the cinema when I screen in the film. Yeah, thank you. So I think we have time for another question or two. Anyone? Yeah. Wow, still have so many questions. <laughs> I, because I, I will think the film is, <laughs> is very abstract. You thought we would come in and the cinema would be empty or yeah, something? Yeah, totally <laughs> empty. Only some bottles here. <laughs> yeah. the, how, how directed was the interview with your mother? Did you ask very specific questions or did you ask just like, you know, to her, for her to just say whatever she wanted to do about her time like during the Cultural Revolution? or? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting question. Oh, that that's how can I uh, how to say answer the question about the process? Because when I when I collect a lot of photo, old photos and all the archive, I just put them in my studio. I just put them together with like some uh, keywords like bicycle or furniture or how to say the swimming or the street. So I put a lot of old photos under. The keywords. So, so when I interview with my mother, I just uh, uh, ask my mother, "Can you tell me some story about the dream? Uh, can you tell me some interesting memory about bicycle?" So, so I, I do not like basically ask, ask, "Oh, what happened in 1916?" It's not like that. It's just, "Can you tell me some story about bicycle?" So my mother just answer, "Oh, I have a dream about bicycle." So the the story coming up come out like that. So the process just. Uh, 
just to follow this kind of way. So when I have some story about the bicycle and I have a lot of archive about the bicycle, I just put them together in the film. Or sometimes I just uh, totally not use the similar topic together in the film. I just uh, hope just to make some confused feeling for the audience, but it still have some links sometimes. Because basically sometimes my, it's, it's hard to come true because sometimes my, my mother, she just brings a new topic or new keywords. I, I need to find out some new archive for, for her story. Yeah, like that. All right, so we can take one more question. Last chance. <laughs> Anyone? All right. Thank you. Yes, 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 and uh, thank you for this question. I, I actually had just been uh, my hometown maybe uh, half a month before, and uh, and uh, my my mom very surprised about this film, the, the first minute, and after half hour she uh, totally lost. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say? Did I saw that, or did I say that? Who is this man? <laughs> this is not my brother. I'm talking about. Why he is here? So my mother totally, yeah. Because maybe because I'm not I'm not screening the film in the cinema. I I have no chance to screen the film in my hometown in the cinema. I have good projector and speaker like here. Maybe because I only screen the film in my laptop. So make it's not good at here, but basically my mother totally lost at the middle of the film. But at the end of the film, do you remember my mother talk a lot about his uh, memory about, I'm uh, oh, sorry, her memory about her father. That part of my mother looks like back to her memory at that part. He totally worried emotionally. And, and at the end of the film, I can, because my, my grandfather passing away, maybe, uh, four years before. So why I come back to the China because they have can uh how to say that in English, Qingmin uh festival? Okay, it's kinda of like festival you go to together with my family. So uh because the festival my mother uh miss her father at that time. So I think at the end of the film, she understand a little bit or understand her memory more and maybe more than the, the movie. So I think that that makes sense because the, I hope the film give more, more space to different people. Maybe different people can put different kind of a memory in the film because I think it, the film is not only for my mother or only for Chinese people. It's, it's for people have uh, have family or people have memory, people have uh, have a struggle under the big history movement. So everyone from different kind of cultural background have different from different history can understand, can put their own memory in the film. So that's what I'd like to to see after film screening. So and uh, thanks for this question. I think my I hope I think my mother f have uh, have some feeling from the film. I hope different audience have different kind of a feeling from the film. Yeah, like that. All right, we have to we have to leave it there. But thank you for the film and thank all of you for being here. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>